In DPS Release 32.1, we introduced a great new capability for publishers who want to take PowerPoint content and deliver it through DPS. Let's take a look at how that works. I've got a PowerPoint document open right now. It's got two slides. It's really not that complex, but I do want to illustrate that it does have one critical feature that folks like in PowerPoint, and that's animations. This second slide features a build. It's not obvious here, but if we play the slide, you'll be able to see what I mean. Let's go through the animations now. First, I'll use this slide to talk about how we can create content using InDesign and Adobe Experience Manager. Well, now I've got to change this slide to include PowerPoint. We'll deploy that content using the distribution services, the Folio producer and our distribution service. And of course, that's got to go down to various channels that might be your iPad or your Windows tablet or your desktop, right? And of course, we want to control that through entitlement. And then lastly, we'd like to measure that so that we can optimize that content by looking at consumption patterns and seeing what really resonates with the reader. Now, that's my presentation, but I'd really like to be able to deliver it on my iPad. Let's go back and see how we can do that in PowerPoint. I've installed a new tool that's called the DPS Export Plugin for PowerPoint. You can learn more from the link on the screen. In PowerPoint, it appears as a tab, and you'll see it has three options. The first of these is Account. In order to upload content, you do need to have an Adobe Enterprise DPS account. You would enter that account information here and then click Sign In. I've already done that, so there's no need for me to repeat it. The two other options over here are Preview and Upload. Preview will create a local folio of the presentation and then present it on the desktop content viewer. The DPS export plugin will automatically look at your PowerPoint file and figure out critical pieces of metadata. For instance, it's chosen the folio name to be the name of the PowerPoint file. What is DPS iPad? It will also make use of the slide names to create articles. We'll see that in a few minutes. Let's fill in some additional metadata. Now that I've got my metadata in place, I have to choose a target device. We've included common tablet sizes here. Of course, you could always choose a custom size. I'm going to view this on an iPad, so I'll leave it as 1024 by 768. Note that the background here is a ping. This means that you may want to produce multiple renditions, one for iPad Retina and one for iPad Standard Definition, as well as other devices. For now, I'm going to stick with just plain old iPad. I do want my interactive elements to function, so I'll leave that enabled. All I've got to do is click OK and I'm ready to roll. The DPS export plugin is now taking my PowerPoint file and converting it to a folio. We're going to be able to view that folio on the desktop in the content viewer. The desktop content viewer gets installed when you install the plugin. If you happen to be using a Windows 8.1 device, then you can also download the Adobe Content Viewer from the Windows Store. So there's my PowerPoint. If I swipe to the right, here's my slide. If I tap, here comes the first animation, here's the second animation, and so on. All right, well that's one thing, but let's go take a look at it on my iPad. Now I've already converted this to a folio and I don't need to make changes, so I'm just gonna click no and let it upload. In addition to slide animations, we also support video. So you can place a video directly onto your PowerPoint file, and then that will play inside of your DPS application when you tap it. Let's click OK, and then we'll take a look at it in the Folio Producer. So here's my Folio Producer, and here's the folio that I just made. What is DPS on the iPad? What is it, right? Designed for iPad with PowerPoint. If I go and open it, we'll see some things. It's called slide 001, slide 002. That's pretty handy, but what about the titles? What is DPS? Well, that came right off of the folio metadata. Also, the second one, closed document ecosystem, right there, came right off of the slide title. 
You can also see that the byline was picked up and you of course can enter any additional metadata that you need for the article. I'm going to put a library filter on here to make it easier to see on my iPad. All right, let's go take a look at the iPad. You can see over there on the left, I've got what is DPS, designed for iPad with PowerPoint. That's the one we just made. In order to view it, all I've got to do is tap on it to download it. And there we have it, folks. PowerPoint in DPS. Swipe to the next slide. Tap to advance. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. And so on. If I tap at the top, I can view the heads-up display. And I can see that not only do I have the titles of the slides in the article names, but I also have these previews that have already been built for me. We could not have made it easier for folks to take PowerPoint content that they've already got and deploy it into DPS. We think that this is going to be revolutionary for businesses that have existing content that they want to use inside of DPS, but have been struggling with the transformation from taking that content and turning it into InDesign or into HTML. We've simplified that process, and we really hope that you'll take a look at this and start using it with your DPS accounts today.